what's up everybody? Once again, it's brand man, Sean, and I wanna do something a little different today. It's really around the fact that I know a lot of you are out there building, and building can be tough. You take a lot of losses, you have a lot of setbacks, and those L's can hurt, and sometimes your energy gets off, and that's one of the most important things when we talk about building something for ourselves. I've been there, done that, and still working on doing that. And if you're working and you're building something yourself, you need quite a bit of energy. Your energy needs to be in the right place because you're building something that isn't necessarily there versus following a path where you really just need to go through the motions. And if you don't have your energy in the right place, one thing that I typically do, I'm actually in the middle of it right now, I call a 100-day sprint. Now, it might not be 100 days for you. It might be seven days. It might be 50 days. But I get deadly specific on what I'm going to do within that time period, not only goal-wise, but it's more so also about my energy. So working out gives me good energy. Eating certain foods, it helps me have good energy, but even more so cutting out certain foods during that period is something that I get real serious about because I can't afford for my energy not to be maximized towards building back my momentum. So it's something that you guys can try out if you haven't done anything like this before. Really just write down every single thing that you wanna do. Okay, you have your goals. Don't create too many different goals because it becomes demoralizing. And then on top of that, you just specifically write down not only what gives you good energy and those things that you put into your routine, schedule it out. That'll help build your energy momentum in the right direction, but then also make sure you create measurables for you to be productive. That means if you want to create one song a week, create one song a week. If you want to create two songs a week, create two songs a week or whatever you're doing, apply it to that. For me, I can get so specific where it includes when I'm getting my hair cut and when I'm giving myself like a serious shave. I just get very, very specific about it. But we all have our own ways. So I would like to know what you guys think and what you do because it might be helpful for somebody else. But even bigger than that, I want you guys to watch this video. I love to share this video with you because it's been inspirational for me in the past. I just like to keep these kind of images in my mind if I ever need that push and that little bit of edge that might be necessary to keep myself going whenever I'm in like a sprint of work. The 600 meter underway, Heather Dornard in Minnesota finished second this fact a year ago. She was in lane four. And Dornan is probably going to be your favorite. She actually won the NCAA championships in 2006 in the 800, but she only won one Big Ten championship in the two years. Three laps in this event, 600 meters, three times around the 200 meter track here at the field house. What a bold move by Fallon. She's looking very confident, and the Penn State runner is just running amazing today. She did win her heat in the 400, but ended up taking fourth overall. That's Fawn Dorr moving into the lead, a sophomore from Penn State. Dornard in running second. Dornard in last year scored 23 points for the Golden Gophers in their Big Ten Championship, so they're really relying on getting a lot of points from her this weekend, and she's just coming by Fawn Dorr now in the home stretch, heading into the Bell Lock. Gordon and falling down gets up quickly, but that's going to cost her. Lucky she wasn't injured. Her teammate just went to the front, though, so they may be able to recover from that. And Dorden is flying down the back she stretch. Is she catching is catching up. She is going to catch Fondor, and she may catch the leaders. Wow. wow. She's got Fond. This is a gutsy effort by Dorden. That is amazing. <laughs> to, to fall in a 600, I mean, this is basically a sprint. I mean, this is an extended 400, basically. To, to fall with 200 meters to go and get up and win, that is unbelievable. And that's it. Hope that was helpful for you guys. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit this like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.